Hi, this is Maria at Freestyle Homeschooling. And today I just received my order from Rainbow Resource. I'm so excited. I get to finally share what we ordered for the 1819 school year. Um, this video will only um, show you what we purchased through our charter school funds from Rainbow Resource. I will do another video that will show you what I'm gonna use for each of my children. So I'll do a video specifically for my third grader and then another video specifically for my eighth grader. But this one, I'm just gonna show you um, what we got from Rainbow Resource. Okay, so let's take a look at what I um, ordered. So first of all, this is a language arts workbook and um, we are using language lessons for a living education from Masterbooks. Uh, for my daughter, but I wanted to get uh, also a workbook that I can use for our samples. Um, the charter school um, requires that we give them samples of um, each of the subjects. So I picked up a few workbooks in different subjects. That way I can use those as samples because language lessons for living education is a Christian um, based language arts program. And I obviously purchased that with my funds, but um, I can't use that as a sample. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, let's let's show you, you know, what I received. So this is our, a language arts um, workbook. It's not that thick. This is a daily science workbook as well, so that we can use for our samples. And this one is a little thicker. Then we have some chapter books for my daughter and she loves the Amelia Bedelia books. And this is a set of four. Okay. And then for history, um, we're gonna try to do history together. As a family, I have um, two children and there's a huge um, age gap between them. My son is 13, my daughter's eight. So it's kind of hard to, um, you know, do history and science together as a family, but I really want to try to do that um, this year, even if my daughter doesn't learn everything or learn all the concepts, but at least she's exposed to, um, you know, the same thing that my son's going to be learning. So for her, she would do it at her level. And of course, since he's older, he's going to be required to do a little bit more. So we're doing the Middle Ages or Medieval Times this year. So we got uh, Project Passports. And this is from Homeschool in the Woods. And it's a DVD and we're going to have to do a lot of printing. Um, there's what I really like. It looks like there's a lot of hands-on activities, um, lap books, things like that. So we're going to do that. And the good thing is that I can also um, order ink for our printer with our charter school funds. So that's the only reason why I went ahead and purchased it because if I would have had to pay out of pocket for ink cartridges, yeah, I think that would have been a little too much because there is a lot of printing for that. Okay, so let's continue. This is the story of King Arthur. And this is just a short uh, book from Dover Publications. Then we have Who Was um, Joan of Arc? We have um, The Magic Tree House, Knights and Castles. Just a quick read here. I think I was a little too close to the camera there. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Um, this is DK Birds. It's just a small uh, book. And I like the DK books because they're very colorful and very informative. And the reason why I got birds is because um, I, we're also using the Apologia Zoology 1 um, for my daughter. And my son sits in on it. He likes to sit in on read alouds. So, um, you know, that's okay. But it is the Zoology 1, which covers flying creatures. So I went ahead and got this. Okay, let us continue. This is If You Were a Kid in a Medieval Castle. Just a quick... Um, picture book. Then my daughter, she requested that we continue with Matthew C. She really um, likes it. So she will be moving on um, to the next level. This is the teacher guide. And then we have the um, DVD. And here she has her student um, notebook, which if you've never purchased Matthew C, these things are 
pretty thick. They're pretty big. And then it comes with a um, test workbook as well. Next, we have Usborne 1001 um, Animals to Spot. This is just a fun book, and my daughter really likes animals and nature. So this is just a fun book to look for the animals. It's almost like an I Spy book, but it is for animals. Okay. This is going to be fun. This is easy to make castles. And basically you cut out the um, pictures and you put it together. And in the end, you have a 3D castle. So this is the easy to make one. Okay. Then we have a maze adventure this is a national geographic book it's just thin and um this is also just for fun there are mazes and they just have to get from one side to the other and there's some reading on the side so this is just a fun read to go along with our middle ages unit this this is looks like a really good book it is the illustrated book of knights they're really great illustrations Okay, I think my son is going to enjoy this one. So this one is also for our Middle Ages unit. Next we have, uh, for my son, for Language Arts, Easy Grammar Plus. This is a student workbook. And as you can see, it's pretty thick. And this is the first time we're going to try Easy Grammar Plus. I've heard pretty good things about it. There's no color, it's just straight to the point. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want to get a language art curriculum that uses a lot of um, like sentence diagramming. Um, yeah, that just seems too complicated for me. And I know for some people it works, some kids it works, but I just wanted something straightforward, simple to the point, and that's what this um, is, okay? So that's a student workbook. And oh my goodness, the teacher's guide is ginormous. Look at this. This is huge. Okay, so this is the teacher edition. It says it has reviews, tests, um, cumulative re reviews, and cumulative tests as well. So we'll see how, how that works. Oh, and also, we really love audiobooks. So this is really exciting. Um, last year we read one of the uh, books from Zizok Publishing, and it they have books on the famous composers, music composers. So we read one on Mozart, and it was it was very interesting. It was fun to read. So my kids really liked it. So this year, um, for this semester at least, for now we're gonna learn about Sebastian Bach and also Beethoven. And so this time I went ahead and just got the audios, um, audio books and we can listen to those. And here's two more audio books. Who in the world was the unready king? And this is read by Jim Weiss, which is also the person who reads the story of the world. And we also have um, the story of the world audio books as well. Okay, and also who in the world was the acrobatic Empress. And that's also read by Jim Weiss. I also have, this is an interactive history adventure. My son loves these. It's just a quick read. He reads this probably in like one sitting. And it's basically like a choose your own adventure book. I don't know if you remember those. And this is on the Middle Ages. This is the first time I purchased anything from Professor Noggin's um, card games. So this is the Medieval Times. So we're going to try that out. Looks like, like fun. Next, we have the IEW Level B Writing Intensive. This is for my son. So we're going to try this out. Um, I've heard really good things about IEW. We'll see how that goes. Here's another audiobook, King Arthur and His Knight. Then for, um, oh, this is also for history. This is the story of the world, um, the test booklet. Yes, for volume two, for the Middle Ages. And we already have volume two. We have the book and we have the audio um, CDs as well. So this, I just thought I'd get um, for samples, also for our charter school. Okay, And I actually thought it was a little thinner on the... Um, on the website, Rainbow Resources website, I don't know, I just had a the sense that it was a little thinner, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too thin or too thick. 
then we have for science, I also got um, a few um, kind of workbook style for my son so that he can also have a few um, things to turn in as samples. This is the 100 series life science. This is really cool. Let me just show you some of the pictures. And this isn't so much a curriculum because it seems like there isn't instruction. There isn't paragraphs that he reads, but it's more of you can use this if you study um, with your books or something else. So, for example, this is the there's a bat here. So maybe you can get library books on bats library books on frogs and then you just do the worksheet okay so i thought this was pretty cool we can just use this as a supplement and then we also have the interactive notebook of life science and it's the same thing it's just an interactive notebook okay and this one does have a little bit of um like a little mini lesson that he can read and create a interactive notebook. So that's pretty cool. Okay, show that one. All right, now these next two books, these are just for fun. Um, he really enjoys reading, um, you know, nonfiction books. So this one, I thought this would be pretty cool. This is from the Animal Planet, Strange, Unusual, Gross, and Cool Animals. And this one I know he will like. It's Warriors, the Greatest Fighters in History. This is from Scholastic. So I know he's really going to enjoy this. Very colorful. Um, great pictures. Okay, so that'll be fun for him. And oh, and lastly, these are flashcards, vocabulary flashcards for life science okay and let me see if i can open this up real quick and maybe just show you what these flashcards look like okay so remember keep in mind all of this was from rainbowresources.com oh these are cool okay so here's an example this is a cell very colorful and on the back it's based it's just a definition so these are um, just vocabulary flashcards we'll pull out another one so it has amino acids and then on the back oops and then on the back is the definition so this will go really well with um, just any life science curriculum okay and then I wanted to see here Okay, and then this just gives you strategies on um, teaching strategies and also suggested games that you can do with these flashcards. So that's it. That is our order from Rainbow Resources. Um, I still need to put in an order from Amazon, um, but that'll be more supplements. It's more of like paper, ink, um, col um, coloring pencils, paints, brushes. So that, that's pretty much, you know, just going to be thing, extra things that, you know, we can use um, for arts and crafts, um, supplies, materials, things like that. But um, I hope that you, you enjoyed this video. I will soon hopefully be posting up everything I'll be using for my third grader and everything then I'll be using with my eighth grader. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.